everyone. Uh, welcome to our second assembly video of uh, Crucify Kit. Uh, we wanted to make a new video to show off our new and improved motor mounts. So this is everything that's included in the kit. So we have five motor mounts. We have the crazy radio and the antenna. We have a battery and the sticky pad to attach the battery. The crazy fly of course. Five motors and ten propellers, five of each, clockwise and counterclockwise. So there's one spare motor, one spare motor mount and some spare propellers. Um, you can assemble the crazy fly in a lot of different ways but uh, we're going to show the way that uh, works good for us. So what we're going to do is first we take the motors, we twist the wires, insert them into the motor mounts and then put the motor mounts on the crazy fly and then solder the wires. So to twist the wires you take the tweezers at the end and then you can twist the motor around twist the wires like this. Then we insert the wire through the wing part of the motor mount and this can be a bit tricky but it definitely helps if the wires are twisted. So like that. And then you can make sure to kind of have the wires to for the best result have the wires like this. And then push it into the motor mount. And make sure not to turn it upside down and push on the motor axis because that will damage the motor. So only push the housing. Like that. Okay, so then we attach the motor mount onto the crazy fly, starting with motor 1. And the new mount is press fit, so there is no glue needed. And also there is a groove on the bottom here where the wire is supposed to be placed. So when you insert it into the wing, just pull on the wire to make sure that the wire is in the groove. And then you insert it like that. Okay, and then we insert the wires into the corresponding through holes here. So motor 1 and motor 1. And we start with the white wire for the circular pad and black for the square one. So just yes, push them in a bit and then you can see that they stick like that. And then you can turn it around and solder it. Okay, so then we solder the wires from the top. Okay, so now I've attached the second motor, motor 2, to the pad below motor 1. And then, as you go down, you alternate. So the, for the first motor, it's white on the round. For the next, it's black on the round. And then white on the round, and black on the round pad. So now all four motors are attached and soldered. So the next part is putting on the propellers. So, as you can see here, there is two different kind of propellers. There is the counterclockwise and the clockwise. The clockwise goes this way, counterclockwise this way. And they are in pairs, so motor 1 and motor 3 are counterclockwise, and motor 2 and motor 4 are clockwise. So the thing to tell them apart is this rounded edge here. So if you look at these two, clockwise, they have a round edge here and not on this side. And for the clockwise, the rounded edge is on the right side, on both of them. So, okay, so let's attach them. So, motor one. And if you look at the motors, you can see that, mm, if you look at the propellers, you can see that they're curved upwards. So if you turn them around, the, these are curved downwards, and they should be in this direction. 
So let's start with motor one. free and motor two and motor four like that. Okay so the final part is to attach the battery using the sticky pad. So you take the sticky pad and you cut off a bit like so and then you start by attaching it onto the battery by removing the protection. So, like that. Let's attach the battery. And then you remove the last protection, like that. And place it. And make sure to try to center the battery as well, as good as possible. Like that. And then the oh, only thing left to do is to power it on. And you can see on the power on self test that all the four motors spin.